Hello, uh, my name's Yasmin and I'm a chemical engineer. I was walking around the park with my friend and he asked me what chemical engineering is and it made me stop to think about it. And I looked down at the ice cream that I was eating and I suddenly realised chemical engineering is in almost everything around us. The name chemical engineering might be a little bit misleading and maybe we should call it process engineering. It's any process that turns a raw material into something useful. So anything that was manufactured probably involved a chemical engineer at some stage. So we're actually a lot closer to you than you think we are. <laughs> chemical engineering is making sure that when you squeeze a tube of toothpaste, it comes out at the right consistency and it sticks to your toothbrush, and then it turns into a foam when you brush. Chemical engineering is designing a material that's light, that's, uh, and it, that doesn't melt when you pour in boiling hot water to make a cup of tea. Chemical engineering is also looking at nature and copying stuff that might be useful in our lives. Uh, for example, making a medical glue inspired by slugs. So this evening, I would like you to help me to demonstrate chemical engineering. We are going to take a raw material and we are going to turn it into something useful. And I think you probably guessed what we're going to be doing tonight already. So we are going to go from here to here. <laughs> um. <laughs> But first, uh, we have to go and get the raw materials for our process. I've come to Standalone Farm to source some raw materials. The most important raw material for making ice cream is milk. never milked a cow before, so I'm getting some practice in before the farmer lets me loose on his actual cow. This is Jane. She's a Jersey cow, renowned for their creamy milk, which is perfect for our needs. After a quick lesson in milking, they let me loose on Jane. It's harder than it looks when you keep getting swished in the face. Despite my best efforts, which even included talking nicely to Jane, I've only got an egg cup full. Oh, I think at this rate it's going to take me a very, very long time to get my two pints of milk to make my ice cream. I think there might be a more efficient method than this. It's engineering to the rescue. Jay's calf was born on Shrove Tuesday, so they called him Pancake. He gets first dibs on Jane's milk. Have you ever seen a baby bottle this size before? Pancake's been fed, but luckily there is enough milk left over to make my ice cream. So it's back to the Royal Institution to get on with some chemical engineering. Okay, so now that uh, we have our raw materials, uh, we can get on with our process. Uh, so I've set, set my process up, um, and what I need to do is mix my materials together, and I need to create a change in state. So that means turn my liquid mixture into a solid. And as we don't have lots of time this evening, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to use some liquid nitrogen to speed up the freezing process. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? So, uh, can anyone tell me what temperature water boils at? Yeah, just shout out. 100, yeah, that's right, 100 degrees C. Uh, liquid nitrogen boils at minus 196 degrees Celsius. So, when I, in its liquid form, the molecules are quite close together, they're packed in together, that's why it's a liquid. When I pour it into my 
ice cream mixture, it's going to absorb the energy from that. It'll take the heat away from it. So the molecules are going to uh, whiz away. The liquid nitrogen will boil away. And the ice cream mixture is going to lose its energy. So those molecules are going to be packed in closer together. And we'll get a solid, hopefully. <laughs> Um, so, I need three volunteers to help me with this. <laughs> Do you want to come down? You want to come down as well? And one more? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so these guys are going to carry out the steps of the process. Um, so, I will, first of all, if you want to stand around here, and we... I want to make sure it's all safe, so if you could put some safety glasses on first. Very good. So this is in case the liquid nitrogen splashes around. Um, don't want you guys getting hurt. Right. So um, step number one, who wants to do the first step? Do you wanna, what's your name? Anna. Anna. OK, Anna, if you want to mix together the milk and the cream and whisk it with this. Uh, so we are using a stainless steel bowl, and the reason I'm doing that is uh, if I use glass or ceramic, it's probably going to crack when I add in the liquid nitrogen, and that would ruin my ice cream slightly. Cool. You got that all in there? <laughs> that'll, that'll do, probably, if you give that a, a quick whisk. Very good. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. I think that, yeah, that's good. Uh, so what's your name? Adam. Adam. Okay, Adam. Your job is to add in the sugar. So if you add in about half of that, we don't want it to be too sweet. Yeah, that, that should do. And then you need to mix that in until it's completely dissolved. So Adam is putting in quite a lot of energy into this, as you can see. Um, in industry, uh, we would make ice cream in a factory. And we would, um, we would obviously wouldn't use volunteers to mix the stuff together. Um, we would use machines that are designed and built by engineers. Um, and is that, is that all dissolved? That's very good. I thought you would take longer, so I had more to say there. <laughs> I'll just say it anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so we would use machines uh, in a factory that are designed and built by engineers. And it's important to think about the electricity that these machines would use. And energy is another area that chemical engineers work in. That's the area that I work in. Uh, so I'm, I work in a power station, and I provide heating, hot water, and ele electricity for uh, the city of London. Right, so we'll move on to the next step, which is adding the flavors. So if you take, let's take the bowl to the other side of the laptop. Um, I'll carry on over here. What's your name? Amber. Amber. Okay, Amber. What's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. I think I heard vanilla, <laughs> which is <laughs> very convenient because I have some right here. Do you want to just <laughs> pour a little bit in? <laughs> That'll do, yeah. And then if you whisk that together as well. Very good. Okay. So... We've done step one, step two, and step three of the process. Uh, the very final step is to add the liquid nitrogen. And I've got a special helper for this. Uh, if you could please welcome Fran to the stage. <laughs> OK. So I've never done this before. Um, I like to uh, live on the edge and do my demos live for the first time in front of an audience. Uh, let's hope it works. <laughs> um, shall we not do it over the laptop? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pour it in, and Fran is going to vigorously stir. You ready? Yeah? I think maybe we need the wooden spoon as well. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Here we go. Hopefully everyone can see that. <laughs> um, right, so what is happening, what happens when ice cream starts to freeze is that ice crystals start to form. 
And shall I pour some more in? Yeah. There we go. Um, so the ice crystals start to form, and the slower the ice cream takes to freeze, the larger these crystals get, and the grainier the ice cream is. <laughs> what we are... <laughs> What we're doing here is we're freezing the ice cream super fast. So we should get some very tasty and creamy ice cream. Is it working, Fran? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, you might be wondering if it's safe to eat this, seeing as I've just put a load of nitrogen in it. Um, it is perfectly safe. You're actually all breathing in nitrogen right now because air is made up of 80% of it. We'll put some more in. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's looking quite ice creamy. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, do you think that's about done? Way! <laughs> do you want to try some ice cream? Yeah? <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a... Uh, Yay, there you are. <laughs> I can't believe this actually worked. <laughs> this was a very quick demo of chemical engineering, um, but there are thousands of other areas that chemical engineers can work in. And uh, this evening, I have put you all through a process, and I've chemically engineered you to understand what chemical engineering is. So <laughs> all that's left to do is to say thank you to these lovely volunteers and to Fran, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening.